hello everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you all are doing good post ramadan and eid my family wanted to have and enjoy a simple meal over the weekend so here i decided to prepare a simple dahi khichdi and pudina chutney to serve along with it i hope you find this video recipe helpful so keep watching till the end to begin here we need to soak a few ingredients so here i have taken 3/4 cup of basmati rice and a handful of dal i have taken mixed dal which is masoor dal and moong dal wash it well a couple of times and then i'm going to soak this for around 30 minutes i have already chopped one tomato and thinly sliced half onion slit two green chilies then we would also require a handful of fresh coriander leaves which i'm going to finely chop and keep that aside to add flavor and aroma i'm also going to add a handful of fresh mint leaves here i'm going to cook this in a pressure cooker to make it simple and make it a one pot meal i have added a little oil once the oil is hot we would add the whole spices a pinch of fennel seeds two cardamom pods two cloves one cinnamon stick and five peppercorns then goes in the green chilies one tablespoon ginger garlic paste and onion cook the onion till it turns soft and the raw smell of the ginger garlic paste reduces Once done add the coriander and mint leaves and fry for few seconds. This will not only enhance the flavor but also add a great aroma to the dish. Do not skip this step. On low flame add 1/4 tsp turmeric powder, 1 tsp coriander powder, 1/2 tsp kashmiri red chili powder, 1/4 tsp each of cumin powder and garam masala powder. Fry the spices till the raw smell reduces. In case you feel the spices are getting burnt, add a little water and mix well. This will turn the onion soft and also cook the spices well. Add the tomato and allow it to cook till soft. Once soft, mash it with the spatula. Now turn the heat to high and add the rice and dal. Drain out all the water before adding. Stir fry for a minute. This will help the rice to absorb all the flavors of the spices, coriander leaves and mint leaves, and also help in softening the rice. Add three to four cups of hot water, two teaspoons of salt, and stir well to separate the rice grains and dissolve the salt. Close the lid and pressure cook for four whistles. While the rice is getting cooked, let's make the pudina chutney. In a chutney jar, add half onion, handful of fresh coconut, one green chili, half tomato, five to six cloves of garlic, one tablespoon tamarind pulp, one teaspoon cumin seeds, handful of pudina leaves, one fourth cup water, and grind well. In a bowl, add one teaspoon salt and the ground chutney. add half finely chopped onion for crunch and mix well pudina chutney is ready once the pressure is released open the lid you can see the rice and the dal are cooked well give a mix and with the help of the spatula mash the rice to adjust the consistency add 1 cup of water this is 1/4 cup of curd diluted with handful of water add it to the khichdi Turn the flame to high and mix well. Add a teaspoon of salt and mix well. Let it come to a good boil and turn off the heat. Garnish with fresh coriander leaves and this is now ready to serve. Serve this hot. I garnished it with roasted cashews and ground nuts. You can also garnish it with finely chopped onions or thin onion rings. So this is my simple method of preparing a comfort meal for my family. I served it with spicy pudina chutney, curd raita, mango chutney pickle and papad. Do not forget to drizzle few drops of ghee over the khichdi before serving. Hope you found this video helpful. Do give this recipe a try. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye bye.